Yo, what's up dudes? It's your boy Eagle Brother, and I'm back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Weapons Guide. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about the OP Assault Rifle, the Monarch, of course, where you're going to get the Monarch, who you need to farm, and all of the things that the Monarch brings. So to get the Monarch, you first need to go through the Kill Kilovolt mission in Electricity here on Promethea, and this mission doesn't take too long. You just got to go pretty much kill a couple bosses, get their token, collect some batteries for Mox, and then, of course, you get to the end boss, aka Kilovolt. Once you do complete this mission, then you do unlock him to where you can farm him pretty easily and make this weapon farmable to get yourself this weapon. Now, that mission is pretty early game, so you guys should have him unlocked already. Again, if you just started, then yes, you do need to go through that. If you've already killed him, we're going to go to Promethea, and then we're going to go to Electricity. And, of course, we're going to show you just the path on how to get to Kilovolt. Uh, there's going to be a lot of enemies on the way there so you can just blow by also i do want to share that you need to be on mayhem level six at least to get this drop from kilovolt so you have to be mayhem level six don't forget that to actually get the potential of getting the monarch drop so we're gonna run around here and i'm probably gonna speed it up here just to make so make it so you guys don't have to worry about following me and you know watching me run around for 10 minutes so i'm gonna head over here he's actually gonna be located at the very back of the map so it's literally sh pretty much a straight path whatever way you want to take yeah there's probably a quicker way but you guys can just follow my path here Alright guys, so we got to the kill arena, and this is where Kilovolt's gonna be, but you first just wanna come up here, come up the stairs, and he's actually gonna be right down here. There is a save station that automatically will save your game right here, so when you do spawn, after you save and quit, you're gonna land right here, and of course we get freaking dropped by these dudes, so that's kind of annoying, but... Let's, uh, I mean, our, our pet picked us up. Let's, let's kill these guys just because they're kind of annoying. So, um, take them out really quick. Hellwalker, absolutely insane gun. If you guys haven't checked that video out, go check that one out. But Killavolt is going to be right down here. So we're going to kill him once and then save and quit. Kill him again. This first shock, if you guys don't want to get hit with that, you just kind of stay back. But he does have a couple waves to him. So we're going to use the Hellwalker pretty much to knock his shield down. Sometimes he disappears like that and then there's gonna be a couple enemies that come out to the side really nothing too crazy but one thing I found out about this farm is that it uh, did take a little while to actually get the monarch he does also drop the I believe it's the 9 volt SMG so he does drop something else as well but um, the monarch does take a little bit to drop so let's see if we could get him a couple times if not I do have the gameplay footage of the drop so we'll just play that but course we'll try to get the drop while we are live okay so he does drop something for us and there's the nine volt which is another one of his drops that he has so that gun is, is okay we'll probably have a video on that sometime soon but we're gonna save and quit and then we spawn right here I mean there's an ammo dump right here like it's it's super convenient we can literally just run down here we're gonna kill him one more time to see if we do get it to drop I'm just gonna sit back here and wait but as I mentioned guys remember you have to be mayhem level six I know I said that like five times earlier but if you guys are like playing this in your early game whatnot and you're not getting it then that's why but sometimes you guys could see there we actually drop his shield without him leaving without those those uh little enemies popping up they're popping up now but it, it just really depends i don't know I've, there's been some runs where he doesn't leave at all and i just kill him right then and there and then there have been some runs that are like this let's take him out bam 
He's not too difficult of a boss, but I do want to say he is immune to shock. And again, he drops the 9 volt. He drops that one pretty frequently, I want to say. About half, actually. So he does drop that one pretty frequently if you guys are looking to farm for that. But we're going to jump into the gameplay where the actual Monarch is dropped. While we're showing the drop, I do hope you guys have been appreciating the daily uploads. I'm actually also uploading pretty much almost twice a day. So if you do, pretty be sure to show me some love. Hit the like button, sub to the channel. We're going to be posting more Borderlands 3 content content and then of course the new tiny tina's game wonderlands once that comes out uh, you guys already know we're going to be posting more about that so we end up taking out kilovolt with the hellwalker shotgun and he does drop us the monarch i am on mayhem level 10 when i get this kill so if you're on if you're playing mayhem 11 mayhem 10 actually gets you a little bit higher of a percentage of the drop so you can see we have dobby the monarch and this gun it's absolutely insane there are a couple different variations of this gun one being a times eight and then the other being the times four they're, they both shred. I mean, you don't really have to farm for either one. I know the times eight, you got to reload quite a bit. So if you're not looking to reload, then, you know, the times four will do you perfectly well here. And of course, you do get any elements. We'll talk about the wiki here and show you some gameplay. The Monarch is a legendary assault rifle in Borderlands 3 manufactured by Vladoff. It can only be obtained either from the Sarah of Supremacy in Tour Trial Mode or from Kilovolt in Mayhem 6 and above. Of course, you guys saw we got it from Kilovolt. The special weapon effects the red text says the deadly sting of the Monarch. Increased damage fires 3 to 10 bullets per shot. Bullet fire in a randomized spread that resembles a filled square. Always spawns with a bipod and melee attachment. Firing in bipod mode fires twice as many bullets per shot. So, you guys could see, I mean, I, we drop ourselves right there, but you guys could see that this gun is actually putting out a lot of damage, a lot of bullets, and it's really going to work on these enemies. I mean, clearing rooms, mobbing. Now, the usage and description is pretty lengthy, so bear with me. Uh, the Monarch has one of the highest damage outputs in the game while in bipod mode. However, the large spread requires the character to get in as close as possible to the enemy, and the reduced movement speed while in bipod mode can make it hard to quickly rush between enemies and dodge attacks the monarch is surprisingly good weapon while you're in fight for your life and the character can move in closer to the enemy without taking damage i'm not really going to get too much into it but it does say that when combined with the gorillas in the mist skill stack bot class mod and the pearl of ineffable knowledge artifact flak can reach massive damage outputs that kill can kill any enemy within seconds the monarch also has synergy with the head count skill to recharge their action skill quickly even if it has cooldown duration of 30 seconds or more. So I do not have these skills or class mods equipped with this flak build, but I know that the potential of this gun, I mean, we you guys could see we're still wrecking quite a bit. We actually go ahead and kill Tront, so we might actually be able to even melt him quicker with the actual class mod that we need, the artifact that we need. So we might give that a shot a little bit later, but in the video, of course, we just keep everything the same, and this this gun is, I mean, it's just absolutely wrecking. So let's go ahead, let's take out Tron and see what this gun could do. As you guys know, we're going to go ahead, we're going to kill him two times. The first time is going to be with the action skill. The second time is going to be without it. And, I mean, with action skill, we just absolutely fry Tron. You guys are going to see here in a second. Once we start hitting these crits, I mean, that thing's going down super quick takes them out almost in one clip i mean this has 69 bullets a clip so it's a pretty pretty big clip which is nice that's what she said and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna kill him a second time but we're not gonna use the action skill just to show what the gun can do without any action skills nothing like that i did notice when we went ahead and killed him without the action skill uh, you guys are gonna see that it does take a little bit to take him down but I do not want to take anything away from this gun because it's definitely the build my attachments I, or my artifact and class mod I do not have on for like Vlad off damage. It's pretty much leaning more towards Jacob's weapons because I use the Rowan's call as my main weapon, but 
this gun, I mean, it's still doing quite a bit of work, and there's no element on it. Had I got a shock monarch, I would definitely have been able to take his shield down by now. But as I mentioned, I don't want to take anything away from it because it is an absolute beast. If I had my attachments right, everything that I needed, then yes, it would be even more crazy. But you could see once we take out that shield, Ca Captain Tron's pretty much done for. Yeah, we get dropped there, but you know, we get the second win pretty easily. So overall, the monarch is absolutely nuts. I would definitely say top three assault rifles. You know, Maybe you can vouch for it being the best with the right attachments but I want to say you guys should definitely go get this gun it is an easy farm it's definitely a good one to just run around sp spray and pray and still take out a lot of enemies while doing it but guys that is the monarch of course if you do like this video if you do enjoy the content enjoy the series be sure to crit hit the like button sub to the channel again as I mentioned we're gonna be posting a lot more Borderlands 3 content so be sure to sub up if you want to see those videos I know I have a lot of catching up to do on these legendary weapons so I'm gonna try to post out the more OP ones I might get to the other ones and you know try to get through them all there's so many legendaries in this game so it's probably not gonna happen but I definitely want to get the guns that are probably the better ones out there for you guys maybe the early game ones but anyway guys i appreciate you for stopping by and i'll catch you in the next one peace